check this out. This is the Zhuin Smooth X. In a nutshell, it is a two-axis gimbal that telescopes and is priced at 59 US dollars. So a couple interesting things there. First thing is it's two axis, not a three axis. So check this out. Usually there is a tilt axis to stabilize that motion, and then a pan axis to stabilize that, and then a roll axis to stabilize that. But this is a two axis gimbal, so it stabilizes your roll and your pan, but not the tilt. But Juan's telling me that you can still get really smooth shots with only two axis, and because it's only two, it's going to be much more compact, a little bit simpler, and also less expensive, which brings me to my second point. It's $59. $59 bucks for a gimbal? I mean, that's pretty hard to beat. And on top of that, Juin is sponsoring this video and they're giving us all a code down below to get 10% off if you buy this in the month of June. So this inexpensive gimbal becomes even lesser expensive, yeah? <laughs> and the final thing that's unique about this is how it extends and kind of folds so you can use it as a selfie stick or whatever else you want to do. A back scratcher? A back scratcher? Yeah, maybe. Oh, uh, oh yeah, that works. Push an elevator button. Bink. <laughs> I don't know. Of course, Juin does have their lineup of three axis gimbals, which pretty sure you're gonna get smoother footage out of it. But again, it's a little bit bigger, a little bit more complicated, a little bit more expensive. So I don't know, there might be something here. I think the first test is to go and just get some footage with this thing and see, does it actually look decently stable? All right, so here's the front facing camera here and we're on selfie mode. But if I extend you out a little bit, hold it out. Oh, look at that, cool. get a wider shot. This is pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Kind of handy, how stable is it? It's a pretty good wide angle because I can push the camera out fairly far. To me, it's looking pretty smooth, not as smooth as a three axis gimbal, but definitely not as bad as I thought. I thought it was gonna be a lot more do 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 but it's not so bad. There's a one YouTube channel where he just goes and hikes. Oh yeah, with celebrities. Yeah. yeah, this yeah. would be a good, decent setup for something like that, huh? Yeah, man. This is kind of a decent vlog angle and it's a front facing camera so I can actually see what I'm recording. And look, here's some goose. Are they goose or ducks or what are they? Cool is geese. Geese. One of the things I like about this extending handle is that you can just go inverted really easily. I like how I could just be standing normally and still get that ultra low angle. But usually I'm like down here like this, getting my low angles like a crab. I'm liking the telescoping handle more than I initially thought I would. Now this is the iPhone 11 Pro Max and while I'm filming with the telephoto lens on here, it does look a little bit shaky. But then after I cut and I play back the clip, it looks a lot smoother. So I think there's some post stabilization added in the iPhone app. But honestly, it's looking pretty stable from what I can tell so far. Let's go to the next location, shall we? All right, so let's take a closer look at the Smooth X. Right now, it's in its collapsed position. And for the most part, you can throw in your pocket a little bit of a bulge, but you know, if you want to try to impress some people. And let's open it up. And it's very simple, straightforward. You got your USB-C charging. You got your power button right there. You got a zoom rocker, joystick, two buttons, and a quarter 20 down here in case you want to throw it on a tripod or if you wanna attach these little feet. I do kinda of like how simple this thing, it's very straightforward. So you have your pan follow, so as you turn the gimbal, the camera follows with it. And then you just double tap that button to switch between landscape and portrait. Pretty straightforward. Let me try this pano shot. I think it's supposed to just take a full 180 degree shot, so I'm just gonna hit it and it's gonna go and get all my frames for me. So that's cool, that's a full 180 degree shot. You could also program in a motion time lapse, which is kind of cool. You just leave it there for a couple of minutes, check back and see what kind of shots you get. First time you use it, you do have to activate the gimbal. So you have to install the app and then just run it through the activation process or else it will not work. What's your name? Gene. Uh -oh. okay. Or Potato Jet Baby. Dude, yeah. I watch all of your tutorials for the Sony. The oh, really? Yeah, oh, right on. Isn't it funny how not many people know my actual name? I was like, my name is Gene. He's like, oh, okay, you're not Potato. <laughs> <laughs> the basics work with the default camera app, but you actually get access to more features once you use the ZY Cami app. I think that's what it's called, but I got it opened up now. And now I can use my zoom rocker down here to get an extreme close-up of Sam. <laughs> and I like this app layout. It's pretty easy to understand. On 
on the left here, you have auto exposure, which I have it set to, but I can switch it over to manual if you want to manually dial in your settings. And here I have it at 4K24, but you can go ahead and adjust the different frame rates and resolution. And here on the top right, we have our templates. So you have a couple of different options here. And I was playing around with it last night. You get a set of like two, three second shots and it stitches everything together and gives you a little edited sequence. Not a feature I really use, but you know, if you're kind of just getting into it, it's kind of fun. And there's also subject tracking, which is cool, but it's not supported in 4K. So I'm gonna go ahead, switch it over to HD and I'm gonna go ahead and select Sam right there. So now I'm no longer controlling the gimbal. It's all doing it automatically. And of course you gotta have your glamor effects right here, auto. Do I look prettier? Oh, look at that. I just enlarged my eyeball. See, this is normal and enlarged. Whoa, that's too much. Here, Sam, let me make you beautiful. Let's slim it up your face right there all the way. Uh-huh. Smoothness. Uh-huh. Whoa. Oh my gosh. You look like a Mexican Ken doll. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and just shut that all off. Oh, there you go. There's my normal ugly ass face. Perfect. All right, so now I got it on gesture control. See, I no longer need a cameraman. It just kind of does it all for me. I guess I'll go home now. Yeah, you can go home now, Sam. This thing is basically my camera operator. Sorry. I'm over here. Oh wait, no, it's taking pictures of you. Don't take pictures of Sam. He doesn't deserve <laughs> this screen time. Over here, buddy. Over here. There we go. <laughs> All right, mic check, one, two. Can you guys hear me okay? Studio is still a work in progress, starting to plug stuff in like our sound and we've got an overhead camera. Still need to get an air conditioner in here and all that, but we'll get there eventually. All right, so let's take a look at this website real quick. Smooth X is $59.99 for the gimbal. Comes in gray and white and you can get it in standard or the combo that's an extra 10 bucks. Comes with this little baggie and inside of here, you have your little feet. If we take a look at their other mobile stabilizers, there's the Smooth Q2 and the Smooth 4. The Smooth 4 is 99 bucks, so what is that like? 40 bucks more than this thing. So there's a little bit more extra cost to it, but then you get that three axis stabilization. I guess if you're looking for the smoothest of the smoothest shots, then yeah, definitely go for something three axis. There's also the Q2, which I already did a review on. That's 119 bucks. So basically like the double the price of this. Another thing that's nice about only having two axis is that this is very low profile. It's pretty flat. So you don't really have to worry about this motor getting in the frame of your ultra wide angle lens. On the other ones, the motors can creep in a little bit at the corners. If you hold it at the right angle, you can clear it out of frame. But what's nice about this is you don't even have to worry about it. There is no way for you to get that motor in that ultra wide angle lens. But overall, I think this gimbal sits really nicely in the middle here. I love how you can telescope it. That was a feature I really like. And I honestly thought the footage came out looking decently smooth. All the sample shots were straight out of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I didn't do any sort of warp stabilizer or anything afterwards in post. I just hit the record button and that's the level of smoothness I was able to get. But overall, I think it's pretty awesome, especially when you consider how simple it is, how inexpensive it is, and how compact it is. And of course, this is a sponsored video. So we're doing a giveaway with five of these. So all you got to do for a chance to win, drop a comment down below within the first, let's do two and a half hours of this video going live. That's it. Let's wrap this up by reading some comments in my brand new yoga room. I don't know how to do yoga at all, but if you didn't know me and saw me sitting here like this, you would totally be like, oh yeah, that guy knows what he's doing. You could probably touch his forehead with his heel. I actually might be able to do that. I don't know. Yeah. You know, this spot might actually look pretty decent if we cleaned up the yard and put a light up. And striking. Oh, yeah, there you go. Hey. In my last video, I asked you guys where you would want to go to fly some drones. The responses are in. Drew says I would go and fly this over a potato field to pay my respects. What does a potato field even look like? I just picture a bunch of little sheds with like a maniac on each one with a bunch of cameras around him. <laughs> I'd fly this thing near the house of my daughter's boyfriend. If I win the Mavic Air 2, I certainly wouldn't be flying it into anyone's bananas. You always have bananas on your shirt Actually, somewhere. Are you today, they're... Hey, hey, hey. <laughs>